Flash warning, this video will contain flashing images. This is how I made the multiple punches effect in my left right e-tutorial video. The good news is it's fairly easy to edit, the bad news is you might need some equipment or a creative filming setup to pull it off. To take my shot from this to this, I used a 3 light setup. That included two 15x nan lights with some barn doors as well as a ring light. And as a reminder, barn doors are flaps to help you to control your light. I had one nan light on either side of me, then closed the door so that the light was focused on my body. Then I used a ring light to make sure that my fists were still lit when I fully extended. From here, I created my base clip by starting with some mid-level punching. And for all of the martial artists out there, as you can see, I'm not rotating my punches. Just do straight punches because one, it's faster, it's cleaner, and it saves energy. And two, this isn't martial arts, it's anime, and this is typically how this effect is animated, so overall it's more accurate. Also, if you care about clean lines and presentation, just choose one level to punch at at a time, or it'll look really sloppy like this clip. Learn from my mistakes. After I finished with my base clip, I closed the barn doors even more and increased my shutter speed to make things even darker. As you can see, only my fists show on camera. From here, I did the upper level punches and the lower level punches. At this point, I would usually rotoscope or photoshop my arm out frame by frame, but I hate doing that. It's annoying and it takes a really long time, but the reason I made my filming environment so close to black is so that I could simply stack the clips in Premiere Pro and use a light and blend mode. The light and blend mode basically analyzes each clip and only shows the lightest pixels. Or in this case, you can think of it as anything that isn't black will show up. I did some basic editing to darken the clips and enhance the effect of it all, but that's pretty much it. Hours of work was done in minutes. And in case you're wondering, does the background actually need to be black? Yes, it, it does. <laughs> Hopefully that helps and you can try it out yourself.